Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you a really uh, powerful and fast technique for adding some shading uh, to your color flats. So in this particular scenario here, I've got this brain that I've applied some color flats to. I've talked about some of the techniques that I've used in previous videos, and I'll have a link to those in the description on quick ways to color flat. I'm working with Photoshop right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the layer that contains the pink color for this brain character. I'm going to hit Command J to make a copy of it. And I'm going to set this layer to multiply. And what I can do now is I can think about where my light source is coming from. Let's just say that my light source is coming from up above. So I can now use my lasso tool. And I'll just show you an example here. If the light's coming from above, then everything that is kind of folded will receive some light. And I'm just using the cut tool. I'm hitting Command X or Control X on a PC. And in this way, I can work with this multiply layer that has a darker version of the color and quickly add in, um, you know, highlights. And of course, the darker values here represent the shadowed area. So if I wanted to go ahead and add some, say, darker pigmentation for like this area right here, um, I'll just make a quick selection like so. I'm going to add to that selection on the opposite side. And we'll get the gums and all of that stuff. Now on that multiply layer, I can hit Command J and I can hit Command U. I can make that a little bit darker to make that pop. So I can use that technique to create, you know, highlights and I can create shadows pretty easily and pretty quickly. It's not the only way to do it, but it is the, one of the ways that I uh, add shading and, and highlights. It's just, you know, using a multiply layer and then extracting the components that, you know, resemble the highlights. Just making a selection, hitting Command X. And you can make short order of the work that you're trying to do. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. It's another short and sweet one. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or concerns uh, or questions about techniques that you would like to see me cover next. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.